So the piece I wrote for Next Fest is three movements. A lot of the music I write for my band Covet ends up being like chapters in one long narrative. So that's how I kind of approach writing this. I usually write music with some kind of fictional movie that hasn't been made in mind. So I'm thinking of like a character or a setting and my overall goal is to transport the listener to this place and hopefully evoke that feeling that I have in mind. I think intention is like a really big thing in my writing. first movement um, is supposed to make you feel like your heart's supposed to be really full of like love or something. When I wrote it, I the first one I I wanted to experiment a little bit since I never did this. I'm like, why not try, you know, a couple of different things to see if I get different results. So the first movement um, I wrote with guitar in mind first, um, and then I put the strings all around it. I approached guitar as kind of an outsider, so I didn't grow up listening to guitar music. I grew up listening to orchestral music and then going to see bands. Um, and I think I kind of found my little niche just by playing guitar, <laughs> how I feel like I would play piano because I started on piano. So a lot of the way I play is fingerstyle. Um, and then sonically, I just want to make something that embodies everything I love about music, like the dynamics of post-rock and romantic era classical music, and then just the heaviness of metal and the odd time signatures of progressive music. Like, I'm just like, ooh, I like that, I like that, I like that. I'm just like gonna squish it into one sound. second movement I ended up having some of the string arrangements first and then put guitar around it. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't writing a piece that was just guitar and then the strings were an afterthought. I wanted everything to have equal consideration. The way I worked on this piece was rather unconventional. I'm not really familiar with like MIDI programming, so I literally just played everything. I performed all the parts. I also want to make sure that it's feasible um, for the string players, because sometimes I feel like with, when you're writing without thinking about the physics of the instrument itself, you can end up coming up with some parts that are a little, little finger twisty. The third one is supposed to be about when you've self-actualized and you feel like you've stepped into your power. So I, I hope it feels very victorious. I wanted to end on a high note. It's definitely the most like epic, intense one. I think a lot of my music deals with those themes of like, you know, loving without holding back. And a lot of my music ends up being very like epic and intense in my band. Um, and I think perhaps when I was writing this, I was thinking. I don't know, I've been going through like different phases in my life. I think this phase is about not trying to silence myself and just letting myself follow the things that excite me and be authentic and not mute myself for any reason. Don't box yourself in and say, I am this type of player or this is the only type of music I can play. Um, I would say be like a kid and just go be curious about different things. Expose yourself to as many sounds uh, as possible. Ex expose yourself to as many crafts as possible. I find so much inspiration in visual art. Like whenever I go to a gallery and I look at paintings, I feel like just something in there makes me want to create, not even visually, but like sonically. It's really important to just follow your curiosity and follow what excites you. 